people who lost their job due to this crisis. What is your story? I'm a server. I haven't worked since the 14th, but was officially laid off on the 18th. Where I am, temporary layoff is only 60 days. If we are not back by then, we lose our jobs permanently. It couldn't have come at a worse time, since we have new management, and there's been some murmurs about getting new staff. I was about to lose my apartment, unrelated, but my landlord phoned me up to let me know that he is no longer making me leave, and not to worry about April rent. He also gave me $150 to go buy groceries. He's a bro. I'm trying to get through to EI, which is all online right now, but the site keeps crashing, so I'm unable to make a claim right now. I was laid off from my 5 year graphic design job, working for a screen printing and promotional products company. About half of our business involves schools, sports, and events. Obviously none of that is happening currently, so our business has stagnated. They are going to try to operate with a skeleton crew for the next couple months. The hope is to bring everyone back eventually, but I'm not optimistic. They wanted a cow walker and I to reduce our hours to half each because they could only afford one of us and didn't want to make a redundancy. In the end, I took the redundancy. I'm 21 and live at home, meals provided. My cow walker is a 30 y slash oh homey r winner with bills and an unemployed girlfriend. Him losing half his income for me seemed wrong. Better me than him. I was in the middle of moving out of my abusive father's house when this happened, and they cancelled my interview for my transfer. I tried sticking it out, because the only place I could go indefinitely is my boyfriend's a flight away, still domestic, just another state. I have been shamed to no end about how selfish and gross I'm for even stepping outside my house for groceries, so I literally told no one I'm leaving. Do I want to travel? No absolutely not. But staying with an abuser for two more months will take such a toll on my mental and physical health that it's necessary for me. The fact that people want to shame me without knowing my situation has been awful, and I wish people practiced more of this kindness. I got a call congratulating me on getting a job two days before a hiring freeze went into place at the university I applied to. I never saw my contract, nor do I have any work. We're in this together, and we'll get through it together, a step at a time. Look after one another. Be considerate, and be kind to yourselves. Here's hoping this blows over sooner rather than later. Just lost it about an hour ago. I'm a restaurant manager and they called me and told me to turn in my keys by the end of the day. I'm in quarantine and can't. They are sending me a ups box so I can send in my keys and told me to file for unemployment. Never expected this to happen to me. I'm in shock and I don't know what I'm going to do. If you are in the UK, the major supermarkets are on a recruitment drive with a fast turnaround of getting people in position. I know this isn't a story about losing a job, but hopefully this helps someone coming to this thread. Construction. The whole construction site was laid off, and with the way things are going, the company owner thinks it'll be at least a year before they consider hiring me back. Started 3 months ago, and that's at least 50 other people affected just for this site. The company had several other sites that they laid off employees too. I'm just lucky I'm still living with my parents, and dad works his online it for the general public, so he's nice and busy. I haven't been laid off, but I answer for the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline and we are having so many calls where someone is thinking about killing themselves because they were laid off. It's absolutely awful. I have no answers for these people, and I wish I had the power to provide for them. I was laid off indefinitely from two different hourly paying line cooking jobs on Monday, 50 hours combined slash week. I helped clean out one of the restaurants Wednesday. We discarded a lot of stuff. I helped clean out all of the coolers and throw away a lot of prepped food that people didn't slash couldn't take home. Employees were encouraged to take what they wanted, produce, dairy, meat etc. The place is almost completely empty, it's surreal. My spouse was laid off indefinitely Wednesday, 
She manages a restaurant and is salary W slash benefits, 50 HRS slash week. She was told that management will not be paid until the place reopens. Our family currently has no work or income. We have a young child. These are very uncertain times. I'm a substitute teacher. If you are aware that most schools are closing, if they haven't already, then that should explain why all subs are now effectively unemployed. It's unlikely that schools will return during this situation. So yes, thousands of people are out of work just from that alone. Subs don't make salary, so any employee who is hourly or paid by day now needs to scramble. My experience is pretty unique. In a nutshell, my wife and I live in New Zealand and had planned a two-year working visa in Toronto. We were supposed to leave in April, so we had obviously already handed in our notices of resignation to our bosses. Long story short, Canada shut its borders and my boss has already hired my replacement. As a side note, they shut the borders on my birthday. I worked at Hyatt. I was hired as an intern fresh out of college for a year. Most of Hyatt's interns were actually internationals from Europe. Hyatt paid us minimum wage which is crazy once you learn how expensive New York City is two months ago they recently hired a guy from the Netherlands and just two weeks ago another girl also from the Netherlands have just moved to New York City for this internship and had moved to her apartment just last week. Two days ago ours called us for a meeting and said effective Monday we were no longer employed by Hyatt. They refused to pay us any of our sick or personal days which I had 7 days worth. For the interns that have recently moved to New York City ours basically said you're on your own not our problem nothing we can do to help. Sol. Being laid off is one thing, but having the hour director tell us that they were not intending in paying any of our sick days or personal days was a slap in the face and a massive dick move. I had intended to work till Saturday which was my last scheduled day. Since they were not paying my sick days I just called off my last 3 days, so I can at least get 3 sick days paid. Hyatt's saying is we care for people, so they can be their best they really showed their true colors and I would never work for Hyatt, or stay in any of their property for, as long as I live. I haven't lost my job, but my small software company instituted 30% pay cut across the board. They say it'll be re-evaluated every month. Clients keep cancelling or postponing projects. So I'm good this month, but could easily lose it next month. I'm just happy they decided to cut pay instead of fire 30% of the workforce, so everyone can keep their health coverage. That and I'm not sure I wouldn't have been part of that 30%. My job as a barista was shut down for safety, and because nobody is coming in, anyway. And my summer job, teaching kids how to swim at a sleepaway camp, is cancelled because the camp decided not to open. While I'm not in danger of losing my house or starving, I'm now unable to afford to continue going to college next semester. My husband got laid off on Tuesday. He works about 3 minutes down the road from my work. He showed up at my work with tears in his eyes, apologizing to me for not doing good enough to be kept. He works at a car dealership as an auto technician, where they let go of 4 techs, that day cause of decreasing business. They are letting go of more people this Saturday. My brother is a mechanic there and is scared to lose his job too. They told my husband that when business picks back up, they might call and ask him to come work for them again. Thankfully, I work in the lab of a hospital, so my job is pretty secure. I keep telling my husband that we'll get through it, but I know it's taking a toll on him. I'm a housekeeper in Maine. I found out Thursday that I'm being laid off indefinitely. Thursday I had a job, Friday I didn't. In one week, I lost both of my jobs. I worked at my university and a hotel, had to move out of my apartment, can't pay my $800 rent, landlord not helping, and had to switch to online learning as a music major. No way in hell will that work. It's 4.58 in the morning. I woke up from a nightmare and woke up in a nightmare. I just finished my training as a flight attendant for a major European airline. 
It's been a dream of mine, and I have been putting my love and energy into this training for the past months. I'm in Cancun right now, and it's bittersweet, because it's absolutely beautiful here, but at the same time this was my last training flight, I'm now a fully trained flight attendant, and yet noon knows when me, and my other new colleagues will actually be getting our work contract, since the airline industry is suffering a lot right now. I think I will cry when landing back in Frankfurt tonight, because I don't know when will be my next flight, but I will put on a brave face and genuine smile for our passengers, at least I will do my best. I was a bartender. The bars and restaurants were shut down. I was actually relieved because, not gonna lie, I was afraid of dealing with so many people and all the glasses. People would just kept coming too if the state hadn't shut us down. Classical musician here. Every orchestra had to cancel concerts for the next 8 weeks. Unsure if any of the concerts will be rescheduled. Many orchestras are waiting to see if the act of God clause will be applied. If that is the case, musicians will not be paid. Most summer orchestras are still programmed, but there is high chance will be shut down as well. Wife and I both work in the restaurant industry. Both laid off unpaid indefinitely. She's a type 1, insulin dependent, diabetic, and we've got two young kids. We have no idea what we are going to do. Insulin and supplies were already killing us. The thought of not being able to get her insulin is horrifying. F&B manager at a large hotel. GM and ours gave me a list of employees to call and inform them that they would all be furloughed. It was the hardest thing I've had to do in my life. I had to stop halfway through the list just to sit in my office and cry. I had to encourage grown men and women that everything would work out and be okay when I had no idea myself if or when it would be. I went to work this morning, worked my normal 10 hours, then I was laid off at the end of the day. I cried again on the way home. <laughs>